Actually, let me take uh, gate uh, 2008 question. Actually, it's quite interesting question because like, you know, even sometimes IITs also can do mistakes, frankly speaking. Okay. Like uh, literature, actually in the books, theory will be there and practice problems will be there. Okay. From problems point of view, actually no book has done any mistake, but from literature point of view or theory writing point of view, yes. Okay. In our previous problem, you have seen, okay. At that time in SC test, how much was the power factor given? 0.25. Okay. And go and check any textbook, any problem, any SC test, any SC test, power factor will be 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.15, 0.25. Even I will have, I have some problems in voltage regulation also. I will tell you, I will, will discuss very soon. But like, you know, power factor under SC test condition should be low power factor only. Okay, means frankly speaking, you don't find any HPF wattmeter at all. Okay, normal unity power factor wattmeter, normal wattmeter will be there, LPF wattmeter will be there. LPF wattmeter in the sense that like, you know, when power factor is very less, my wattmeter deflection torque will not be good. So in order to improve deflection torque, we do some compensation techniques. So that wattmeter is called as LPF wattmeter. So there is nothing like HPF wattmeter at all. You please go and uh, check in your machine's lab. Okay, that measuring instruments, LPF wattmeter will be there, normal wattmeter will be there, but somehow like, you know, in the textbooks, it is included that as OC test is LPF, people started saying SC test is HPF, which is wrong. Okay, in this question also, they have given LPF, HPF concepts. Okay, basically there is a concept like, you know, OC test should be conducted by using a wattmeter of LPF wattmeter and the SC test HPF, OC test LPF is right. Okay, because in OC test, if we draw the phasor diagram, okay, as we discussed, I mu should be more, I mu should be more and I w should be less such that this is going to be I zero. So, what should be the angle between V1 and I0 is more. Now, voltmeter is here, ammeter is here. So, potential coil here, current coil here in a wattmeter. So, the angle between V1 and I1 is very high. So, the angle between is very high in the sense, cause of that more angle will be less. So, low power factor we say. So, in OC test, LPF wattmeter should be used fine. But that does not mean that in SC test, HPF wattmeter should be used. Actually, in SC test also, LPF wattmeter only should be used. Okay, reasons we will discuss like, you know, in detail course of machines at later point of time. But anyway, see here, somehow this question like, you know, LPF, LPF, HPF, HPF. So whatever popular literature is there in the textbooks, let us accept this because it has done wrong. Okay, in the exam, we cannot fight. Means in the interviews, only we can fight. So to solve this question, though it is wrong, we have to accept that like you know OC test under LPF condition or LPF wattmeter should be used. SC test in practice LPF wattmeter only should be used but in literature like you know in writings they are using they are saying HPF wattmeter should be used. So in solving this problem LPF for OC HPF for SC uh, short circuit test you please consider. Now coming to the point like you know they have given two gave here transformer. And very popular uh, misconception, mistake is like you know, OC test should be conducted under LV side and SC test should be conducted under HV side is wrong, literally wrong. Okay, so there is no specification like that. Like you know, very in very substandard books, very substandard books, they might have written that OC test should be conducted under LV side and SC test should be conducted under HV side. This particular discussion again, I will keep it for detailed analysis of machines only because that question cannot come in exam in gate 2020. Okay. Now, coming to the point, 230 by 115 volts, 2 kVA transformer. And this is given. Now, this particular LPF, keep it for OC test. HPF, keep it for SC test. Okay. Now, means in order to connect OC in between these two, one watt meter has to be selected. Okay. Now, let me calculate full load current, maybe under LV side or HV side, maybe HV side. HV side is going to be how much 230 2000 kV uh, 2000 VA divided by 230 so 2000 VA divided by 230 so roughly 9 amperes will come 8.7 or 9 amperes will come 
Okay, now coming to here, OC test. OC test in the sense no load test. In no load test, rated voltage should be applied or not? Yes. Okay, in OC test, rated voltage, the rated frequency has to be applied. How much current it will take? 2 to 6 percent of full load current. Okay, now for example, my potential coil of wattmeter, kind of voltmeter, let us consider my voltmeter rating is 250 volts. Okay, so nearer to 250, which is there, 230 volts. Yes, we have to apply rated voltage, rated frequency for OC test. Like you know, this wattmeter should be selected. Like you know, in order to conduct the OC test, 250 volt side is nearer to 230. So I have to select for a HV side OC test. Okay. Now in HV side, how much is full load current? 9 amperes. Now should I select W1 or W2? W2. Because full load current is 9 amperes roughly nearer to here, but what will be the no load current OC test condition is going to be 2 to 6 percent or maximum 10 percent. For example, 10 percent of full load current 9 amperes is going to be 0.9 ampere or roughly 1 ampere. Now, 1 ampere is nearer to this, not nearer to this. So, this wattmeter should be selected for OC test. One thing, like you know, why I said nearer to nearer to is, for example, in order to measure 1 ampere. Will you use 0 to 5 amperes ammeter or 0 to 10 amperes ammeter? Because if you take 0 to 5 amperes, uh, what they say, ammeter, error will be less. But if you, in order to measure same 1 ampere, if you take 0 to 10 amperes rated ammeter, like you know, error will be more. So, 5 amperes is nearer to 1 ampere, maximum, like you know, nearer to 1 ampere, such that 1 ampere nearer to 1 ampere can be the no load current. So, we have to select this. Now, Next thing is, though it is not right, but anyway, HPF is meant for SC test for time being, as per the literature. Okay. Now, in SC test, he is saying 150 volts, 150 volts. Voltmeter reading, kind of potential coil rating, like you know, 150 volts is nearer to 230 or 115. We should not check that way. We should not check that way. Basically, in SC test, how much should be the supply voltage? In OC test rated voltage, in SC test, very small voltage should be supplied. Okay. Now, for example, 115, maybe roughly 10% of rated voltage is required to circulate rated current in SC test condition because in short circuit test condition, output is shorted. No. Under that condition, very less voltage is sufficient compared to rated in order to circulate rated current. Okay. So, 115. 10% of 150, some roughly 11.5 roughly, 230, roughly 10%, 23. So, 23 is nearer to 150 or 11.5 is nearer to 150, 23, okay. So, means SC test also he is trying to conduct under HV side only, SC test also under HV side only. Okay, so again let me repeat, don't think of 115 is nearer to 150. But short circuit voltage, because this is SC test, no, in short circuit, how much should be the voltage applied? Voltage applied should be very less compared to rated voltage. So very less compared to rated voltage in the sense 230, very less rated voltage will be nearer to 150. Okay. Now next thing is, what is the full load current under HV side? Full load current is 9 amperes. SC test, of course, SC test can be conducted at any current value, but maximum current is going to be rated current. Okay. So rated current is 9 amperes. 9 amperes is nearer to 10 amperes. So we have to select W3, W3 for SC test. SC test. Such that 10 amperes is nearer to 9 and 150 is nearer to short circuit voltage on HV side. Okay, this is the this is the way we have to solve the problem.